Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Just want to talk about a couple of different meats that are quite healthy for your dog and cat. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about liver meat and kangaroo meat because they're probably the best meats for your dog and cat. Don't get me wrong, tuna, fish, um, chicken, beef, etc. are just as good. But um, I'm going to tell you some reasons why liver and kangaroo meat are quite healthy for you. Now, obviously living in Australia, we can get kangaroo meat quite, you know, easily and stuff like that. Not that I would want to eat our, uh, one of our national animals. Uh, being vegetarian, obviously I don't do that. But even still, if I was a meat eater, I don't think I could eat a kangaroo or a koala or any type of Aussie animal icon. So... I'll start with kangaroo meat and then I'll move on to liver. So this is from balancelifepet.com.au. Again, I'll try and link it in the description bar below if I remember. Fingers crossed I do. So kangaroo meat for dogs and cats. If you're Australian, ha ha, yes I am, then you've probably heard about the amazing benefits of kangaroo meat for dogs and cats. It is one of the lowest fat meats and rich in B vitamins, omega-3s, iron and zinc. I'll continue. Kangaroo meat is high in protein and is always free range. As a result, their meat is often a healthy choice for pets who suffer from food allergies and intolerances. So that's something new. I didn't know that. So I guess if your dog and cat has um, an allergy or an intolerance to something, again, go check with your vet first. Don't take my advice. Um, yeah, just ask them, you know, so um, Sally's got this allergy, would you recommend me getting kangaroo meat? Now, depending on what the allergy or the intolerance is, um, they would be better or best to sort of talk to about that. And it may not even be a food allergy, it could be something else. So, um, but yeah, you never know. I mean, a lot of humans have allergies and intolerances to lots of foods mainly peanuts, eggs, and um, what else, shellfish. They're all very um, big allergy, like a lot of people have allergies to peanuts, eggs, and shell shellfish is what I'm trying to um, talk to you about or tell you about. And um, it can be the same for a cat and dog. They could be possibly allergic to any type of food, really. So very, very similar dogs, cats, and humans. Uh, I think monkeys are probably the closest to humans though, but I don't know much about monkeys, so we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> um, so that's how you roommate, another very healthy and high in protein type of meat is liver meat. Now you can also get liver treats. Um, your veterinary surgeon might sell them, pet stores might sell them, but be in mind when you go to a pet store that it is actually liver. It's not liver and something else because sometimes when you go to a pet store, they go, oh, yeah, it's 100% it's liver. And then you go home and find out that, uh, you know, there's other, like, additives in it. So check with your vet because they probably know what sort of treats or the best liver treats to give your dog and cat. So I'm looking at this and I'm about to vomit. So that's liver. Uh, anyway, so... I'll try and just read it without trying to vomit. <laughs> like grossing myself out. The five benefits of feeding your dog or cat liver. Liver is rich in vitamin A. Liver is a good source of protein. Liver is a high source of omega-3, sorry, not omega-3, omega fatty acids. Liver is high in essential vitamins, purely vitamin E, A, B3 and B12. Liver is high in minerals, so basically it's got here phosphorus, zinc, iron, and copper. Now that is from www.shoppetsnacks.com.au, and I will try and link that in the description bar as well if you want more information. So, um, yeah, that's grossing me out. <laughs> I can't look at it. So I just thought I'd do a quick little video on um, those two types of meat because they are very, very healthy for you, very lean for your dog and cat to um, stay healthy and strong and stuff like that. And um, yeah, as I said, 
like check with your vet if you want to get liver treats or kangaroo treats because I'm pretty sure you can and you know if you want to sort of give them a healthy treat um I don't know if I'll do a dog and cat treats video because I don't really think dogs and cats should be given treats but that's just me um, a lot of parents probably wouldn't recommend getting giving their children treats but um, yeah I I don't know I'll see I might you know do some browsing and go to the shops and stuff like that and see where I can find but yeah there are some healthy dog and cat treats out there I know but I don't want to give you false information and go oh yeah go get your dog this or go get your cat this so I'd rather do my research and um yeah but if you know any of you guys do any of you guys give your dogs and cats treats or feed your dog or cat liver or uh kangaroo meat just i don't know what what sort of the go do your dog and cat like it i used to pet sit this cat quite often and she would um give her cat kangaroo meat and so Thankfully, I took gloves with me because I hate touching raw meat. Um, cooked meat, I'm okay with as long as I can have a fork and just go put it on the plate and then shove it in the fridge or where it's supposed to go. Um, and, yeah, so she'd cut up the kangaroo meat and put it in these little packets and I would get my gloves and just go, and like, there you go, cat, you can eat it. I'll go wash my hands a thousand times and, um, yes. <laughs> A um, little bit OCD, but you can probably understand that I'm vegetarian, so uh, most vegetarians would probably not even do that. But with, when you're pet sitting, you kind of have to do a lot of things that you, I guess, may be grossed out by. That doesn't gross me out, but I don't particularly like doing it. But I just did it, so gloves are very handy. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and yeah, we'll leave it there. Bye. Yeah.